Similar, making your first start at City Field in over a year? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, stepping out there was a little bit emotional. Um, you know, big ovation. Um, kind of took a second, took it all in, and then, uh, you know, tried to focus and uh, tried to take care of business. I'm not sure if this is a, a question that you can answer, but how have you done it? How have you been able to come back after 13 months as good, if not better, than before? Um, you know, that was... Like I said before, in spring I felt good, and that was it. Just kind of popped up out of nowhere the injury that I had, and then um, you know throughout this whole time, like I said, it, the process was very slow. Um, you know, was trying not to do too much, but felt good the whole time. So um, I think I was able to take a step back and kind of look at where I was at mechanically, and maybe some things that might have led to the injury that I had. So um, took that time and tried to you know fix a couple things and and try to put myself in a better position to stay healthy. So, um, you know, that that was the main thing, focusing on that and trying to be smooth and, and kind of get back to where I used to be. The first 18 sliders that they swung at were swings and misses today. Was there something particularly sharp about that pitch this afternoon? Um, I noticed it was good in the bullpen. You know, that was, I didn't throw any change-ups and I, you know, that was part of the reason why it was how good I felt like my slider was. So. It, I didn't want to make a mistake on the changeup and, and leave one over the middle of the plate, so I, I mainly stuck fastball slider, um, and that was just more of a feel thing and seeing how the swings I was getting on it and, and you know sticking with it. The ovation that you got after you walked with your hands, uh, what did that mean to you? Yeah, uh, you know that one was nice, but I was very frustrated. You know, <laughs> you know walking the nine hole hitter and then leaving uh, a pitch over the middle of the plate and let Dansby get it. Um, you know it was very nice, but you know in that moment I was pretty heated. Four out of five this weekend from this team. What does that say about the Mets, the Braves, the division this year? Yeah, I mean, it's huge for us. Um, you know, that was a long day yesterday, and these guys came in and, and you know, um, put up runs early. And, you know, my goal is to try to keep it there. And, you know, uh, Joelle did a great job, and then Diaz coming in and, and closing that game. So, um, you know, it just shows a lot. This team grinds through everything. You know, that was a long day yesterday, and then to come out today and, and jump on them early and, and you know, finish the series was huge. Had you, got, had you gotten through that sixth inning without giving anything up, would you have Ooh. argued your case? Uh, let it be. That, I probably would have had to let it be. You know, you take that long, and uh, it takes you over a year to come back to playing Major League Baseball, and you don't want to do anything dumb right when you get back. So. <laughs> I probably would have let them take me out. <laughs> That's kind of what I was going to ask. Were yeah. you working on any talking points in your head like, hey, uh, uh, I could say this to them? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't really working on any. I, you know, I knew I was getting close to my pitch count. And, um, you know, I think the goal was six ups there. And, you know, I, I, I probably would have let them take me out. Like I said, you know, missing a whole year. You don't want to do anything dumb the first two back. Jake, when you see what Max did last night, feeling the way that you feel today, Watching Diaz, watching the way the offense grinds out, the atmosphere at City Field. Do you allow yourself to think about the possibilities at this point? Um, you know, I try to take it one day at a time. Um, you know, you, you try not to do too much. You know, I noticed that in the past of my career, looking back at starts or trying to get too far ahead of yourself. Um, try to prepare one day at a time. You know, we all have a goal here, and everybody's uh, pulling in that same direction. It's a great group of guys. Um, you know, haven't been around that long, uh, but. You know, it's, it's been fun to watch, and then now being a part of it, it's awesome. So, um, you know, these guys, like I said, come in every day ready to go out there and win a baseball game. So it's, it's a really, really cool thing we got going, just the goal is to keep it going. Jake, do you, after all you've been through and what you've worked on and looked at everything since you've been hurt, do you think there's any way that you're better now than, than you were in the past? Um, like I said, I feel good. Um, that's the main goal, um, and prepare every day uh, the same and, and try to get ready for every fifth day. So. Um, that's the main goal, try to go out there and help the team win. So, um, like I said, cleaning up some mechanics, I feel really good and really comfortable on the mound right now. Can you sense when a day like today, almost psychologically, that the other team might step into the box and maybe already be half defeated before they even see a pitch for you? You, know, you, you never try to think that because things can happen quickly in this game. You know, you turn around and, you know, like that. You know, like I said, luckily we scored uh, five runs and, you know, you know, you walk the nine hole hitter and give up a home run. So you never think like that. You go in there and, and, and try to put up zeros and get these guys back in to try to put up more runs. So anytime you 
think like that, it, it'll come get you. Most strikeouts in 200 career starts in Major League history, does that mean anything for you? I actually didn't know, and then I saw the ball in my locker. So yeah, it's, I mean, it's really cool. Um, you know, it, I, I try not to look at that stuff, just try to, like I said, prepare for the next one. Is your endurance all the way back yet, or are you still working? To yeah, I, I felt good all day today. Um, so like I said, I just wasn't able to execute pitch, a couple pitches when I needed to, but um, you know, felt like I still had more in the tank. So. Um, it's just being smart with it now, and you know, hopefully, the next one I'll be able to stay out there longer. Chick, that was a pretty uh, charged atmosphere from the time you walked out the dugout for warmups. Do you notice that? Or yeah, definitely. Yeah, you know, I spoke on that earlier. Just you know, it was kind of emotional walking out there. It's been a while. I haven't taken this mound in over a year, and you know, I had to take a second and kind of get myself together, and then I try to refocus. You had all season. Ese era el mejor cambio que tú tuviste la temporada entera. Bueno. Pasé honestamente, sí, hoy el cambio tuvo mejor que todos los días que yo he pichado y fue súper excelente para mí. To be honest, yeah, the, the, the change of today had been the best I've thrown it all year and, and it was excellent for me. Knowing how shorthanded you guys were in the pen today, did you go into the day and knowing that you'd be asked to, to go more than normal? Sabiendo que, que, que había muchos mucho pitchers que estaban down hoy, eh, tú sabías que, que, o tú te imaginabas que, que iba a tener que tirar más de un inning. Eh, bueno, sí, como jugamos el día de ayer el doble juego, entonces usamos la mayoría de los piches de bullpen y eh, tenía en mente de que podía pasar y por eso fue la preparación y, y el enfoque. ¿no? Yeah, no, no, that we played a double header yesterday. I, I kind of, I kind of had that in mind that that I may be used uh, for more than an inning. So I, I started the preparation early on and, and with that focus, I was able to do my job. What would it mean to you to reestablish yourself as a late inning option here in this bullpen? Eso significa para ti, para ser uno de los pitchers que 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 puede entrar al final del juego para poder juego cuando juego tan cerca. Bueno, qué te digo, allá tratamos todo preparado para hacer el trabajo y que me tocara a mí así podía tocarle a otro y el enfoque ahora mismo es dar lo mejor de nosotros cada vez que nos den la bola y tratar de poner I'm, I'm just focused right now to, 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 to do the best that I can. Um, the same way that I'm expected to do my job, everyone else is also expected to do their job. So what we're really wanting to do is, is perform, go out there and, and continue to win games and, and really do the best of, and provide the best of our ability. Thank you, sir. Thank you. What you say about Jake at this point, coming back the way that he has? I mean, uh, I'm I'm super happy that uh, that he's feeling healthy, and I mean, he had some incredible, incredible moments today. I mean, he was, um, I mean, he was dominant from the start and, and carried out um, uh, for what we needed him to do. And um, it's going to be really exciting to see uh, when he gets fully built up and thrown like 100, 110 pitches like towards the towards the end of the year. I mean, it's going to be really exciting to see. Uh, how he's going to take over a game from uh, from the pitching standpoint, but I mean he did an incredible job for us, uh, throwing up a ton of zeros and giving the offense uh, a chance to do do some good work for him. How much energy do you as a team draw from whether it's Jake today, Max yesterday, and obviously the way the fans are kind of just waiting with bated breath on every pitch? I mean it's it's truly just an, an incredible and, and fun environment, so it's it's easy to. It's easy to have fun when when we're playing because um, I mean it's just an incredible environment and just uh, having a, a, a an incredible collective effort. I mean Jake did an incredible job. If you look up and down our lineup, we had a ton of really good at bats. We uh, played catch really well out there on defense. Ran the bases really well. So um, all of us are 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 trying to do the best we can and, and do our part. So I mean it, it's really really just just a bunch of group of guys pulling in the same direction. You mentioned the at-bats. You know, it's been something that's been relatively consistent all season long, but it feels like over the last couple of weeks, it's, it's kind of elevated with the level of consistency across the board. Do you feel like the offense has taken it up a notch here since the All-Star break? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like that we've definitely elevated elevated our game, and um, we want to continue to to do that as the season progresses. So uh, we just want to keep continuing to, to pass the torch, pass the baton, and and put together high quality at bats. And uh, I feel like we've been doing a really good job of that as of late. We've been doing an incredible job of that, uh, big picture wise, throughout the season. So. Um, 
we just want to continue to improve every single day. What does taking four out of five in this series, as well as the larger body of work to date this season, say about the power dynamic in the division? I mean, it, it's, um, I mean, again, taking four out of five from the from the second place team is, is uh, it's, a, it's really good for us. I mean, we still have a lot of games to play down the stretch, but um, I mean, we did, a, we did a really good job. I mean, that's a really high quality opponent on the other side. You were talking about the quality of the bats. I know that your first at bat was a long battle and you struck out. Another long battle with your second at bat and you get that, that result that drives in the two runs. Do you feel like having those kinds of at bats earns you a result like that? You're never, you're never guaranteed a result. That's the one thing, uh, not just in baseball, you can put in work, you can um, you can put in a great effort, but you're never guaranteed a result. But the one thing that I try and do every single time I go up there, every at bat, every pitch, I try and learn something. I try and uh, see how the ball is behaving, see how it's moving, uh, trying to understand how the pitcher's attacking me. So I'm always trying to learn and, and really dissect on how I can be, become successful. Um, I mean, sometimes the pitcher doesn't give me an opportunity to, to be successful, and I want to be able to recognize those and also recognize when I can capitalize. So did you see something from his slider in the first at bat that helped you hit that one in the second? Yeah, uh, just understanding the shape. I mean, I, I thought he had a really good one today, and also the shadows didn't really help help uh, my cause or obviously their cause as well. I mean, having two guys, two really good pitchers <laughs> and tough shadows like that, it's, uh, it's not really the, the most fun ABs, but... Um, but yeah, I just really had to understand the environment. I got to see what it looked like and, um, and try to got a really good understanding of what he was trying to do, especially late in the count. Hey, there, there's been a lot of times this season where you have driven in a run that puts the Mets ahead. You know, are, are those as rewarding as hitting home runs? I mean, the, the whole, the whole purpose is, is winning games and getting guys in, whether it's hitting the ball over the fence or driving guys in. I, I just want to do my job. I just want to be the best I can. And, uh, at, at what I do, I want to be the best I can, best version of myself every single day, help this team win. Do you like those situations when you have an opportunity to give the team the lead? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, that's what it's what I train for. It's what I envision growing up as a kid, being being the guy to, to help uh, help the team uh, get a lead or go ahead and, and win. So that's that's why I do it. Thank you, Pete. Jake's whole career. How surprised or not at all are you that he's been able to come back a year away and Look essentially like never um, I, yeah, it's probably sad that I'm not that surprised. Like he he is unbelievably talented and unbelievably motivated. And I think I've said this about him before. If it, if you were playing Tilly Wings, he would want to beat you. So he's extremely competitive, and it fuels his desire to to be the best. And um, then you put Max next to him, and you get those two together. And, it's, I mean, it's quite a recipe. So um, I am so happy for him that he is back and that he is healthy and that he's throwing, but I'm not too surprised. I will say I was a little surprised when I saw the 102. Um, that, that was a little surprising, but, um, but I'm not surprised that he's, that he's dominant. That's just pretty much all he's done his whole career. What does like everything you just mentioned, Jake, Max, the way you guys are hitting as well, um, what does that mean for you going forward? But, I mean, you just saw it for us about the Braves, but it's really yeah. what this team can be. Um, I mean, the Braves are a great team, and we just took four out of five against them. Um, and I think that's that's something positive to build on. Um, you know, we believe in ourselves. Um, we think that we're we're a good offense. We think that um, we think that we wear wear pitchers down. We think that uh, we have great pitching and a, and a good bullpen and. Um, you know, I, I mean, we think we're a really good team. So um, I think this just uh, emphasizes that and, um, you know, gives us even more confidence moving forward. What did you see on that play in the first inning? Where well, um, same thing as in, as in Miami where I slid and there was an out call. And then um, they threw it to first and I'm out, so not going to try and do anything so I, I stood up and what they told me is that me standing up I guess uh, advanced it had me advancing to second base and so that's what made the, the throw to second base 
and then the tag to get me that's what made me out so we're a, li we're a little confused by it um, that's for sure um, but much past that you put it put it away and I'm just trying to clarify that in the inning afterwards so I, I said I just asked him I said so you know if I try and get up if I get called out and I try and get up and go to second base but then the guy is laying on top of me or something and I and I interfere with then I'm out right and he said yeah you didn't, then you're out so I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I can advance to second base without getting in their way and also somehow not being like not being like just laying on the ground and just if they call me out then just not laying there and then they throw it back and tag me and I'm out again so I we're, we're all trying to figure that out um, <laughs> Obviously, you guys saw in Miami it was called one way. Here, you know, it was called another. So um, that's about all I all I know about the situation. When you were first called out, did you believe that you were? Did you see it the way that that we saw it on the replay that the ball wasn't in his glove? I didn't see. No, I'm, I mean I'm sliding into him, and then I see the umpire give this one. I mean, so no, I mean I didn't I didn't I didn't see that he didn't have the glove the ball down there. I saw him going down with both of them, but I didn't see the last separation of it. So, what's your big takeaway from taking four out of five in the series? Just uh, you know that we're we're a good team. Um, we think that the Braves are, are a really good team, and so when you take four out of five against them, um, you know it's really it's really important and it's really good. Um, so happy about that and uh a lot of confidence moving forward but yeah i think you know we were clicking on all cylinders this uh whole series and so um you know we'll, we'll take that as confidence moving forward similarly last year the Rays were obviously behind in the race caught up took first place do you think this series proved that it's going to be a real challenge for them to, to catch you guys i i think so i think it's going to be tough because um you guys probably know better how many games do we have left with them 50, oh with them yeah Seven. Seven? Yeah. So, I mean, winning four out of five and only having seven left doesn't leave them a whole lot of room. What are they, six and a half? Six five? And a half. Six, and a half. six and a half back now. So it doesn't leave them a whole lot of room for catching us by beating us, mm -hmm. you know. And, and we're, we think we're a tough team to beat. So, um, so as long as we take care of business, I mean, baseball is baseball. You have to show up every day. You can't take anything for granted. But, you know, it, it makes it a tough road. Statement, you know, the only statement is you wasn't saying it the end of the year. The way you guys won this series, you scored it right away on Thursday. I've been close to that with six outs. Really the series worth five. Is that the labor of some sort of statement, at least resonate a little bit more? Uh, given start to finish the since this you guys showed? For winning a World Series? No, 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 this series, this series. Oh. Say that. Like I was saying, it's really a statement series. But you think the team said something, but the way you guys won this weekend. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, definitely. I mean, we're, we're a good team. Um, you know, we we think you know we have great pitching. Um, we have a stingy offense that can beat you in a lot of different ways, and uh, we have a great bullpen that is obviously led by our amazing closer, who is doing unbelievable things this year. So, um, yeah, I, I guess it just solidifies and says that we're we're a good team.